The IFAB decided in March 2015 to allow wearable technology in football and today FIFA has invited the industry to learn more about how these systems work. And the advantage that we see is that you can, of course, measure more data, more data about the player, more medical data. But of course, there is a potential that the different areas like medical, tactics, but also entertainment could benefit from it. It helps a player to understand uh, how he's physically he's, uh, he's doing. Uh, also for the doctors, it can help be helpful when they understand if he's getting tired, is he sweating too much, he's, he's under stress or whatever, or maybe he's injured uh, because he get a kick or something. So that's all information they can use and they can also uh, use by a trainer to make a, a substitute. It's helping in terms of reduce injuries for players, it's helping get better insight for, for coaches as to who they, um, who they deploy within matches. And it also helps from a, on a fan level and engagement level to, to better understand how their team and how their favourite players are performing. The major part uh, uh, is for the trainer to see where the players are in the field, how they're playing together, how the distances are between, let's say, the, 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 the last line, the defensive line, the midfielders and all this. It will change the game. Uh, in a way that it will enhance the coach gut feeling with real facts and make him be able to take the best decision and also to improve players' performance on the physical and tactical side. We're using this technology in other sports uh, and competitions. Among others, we're using it in rugby. Rugby, of course, being a very physical sport and, and it has been used in rugby for more than 10 years, so they use it in, in, in matches as well as in training. It was very interesting to see how uh, the different technologies work, um, what kind of devices they have. Uh, some companies are wearing uh, breast belts, other ones are wearing uh, those tight shirts. So it's really interesting to see the differences and then also really interesting to see uh, the data which you create from playing football. We are developing a global standard that means that all the different systems in the market working to the same basis and the same standard. The next step would be then also, and that's the more on the club and league side, we need people who can at the end also um, read and uh, work with this kind of data. So one thing is of course the collection of the data, the other thing is also then to use the data to improve the game and maybe not only for the players on the game but also for the entertainment for the medical side, many other areas are, could be improved and involved in that topic.